I created a folder named Web 105. I actually am going to go up a level and I'm going to rename that. All lowercase. So we're in the same, it's exactly the same as it is on the website. Hmm, it doesn't want to do that. Okay. Inside the Web 105 folder there, it did change. I've created a folder named Initial, which is going to be the name of your first assignment. Every assignment you create will get its own folder. You must have it in its own folder. There should be no spaces in the folder name. There should be no capitals. It should be all lowercase. If you want multiple words, you can use a hyphen between them. Inside my initial folder, I've added a couple of images. I brought these over from Facebook. It's really easy. You can just drag your picture that you have open in Facebook. It gives you this really obnoxious name. So I'm going to rename. And this is my dog, Nessie, so I'm going to call it Nessie. And this gives me three different images in my folder. I'm going to hide the web file. And now I'm going to open up the editing tool, VS Code, Visual Studio Code, that we downloaded from the internet. I haven't saved it into my start bar yet, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to look for Visual Studio Code. And this is my first semester using it, but it is a free and easy Oh, I do have it in, st I want it to the taskbar. Okay, so now I have it in the taskbar. It's right here. And I'm going to want to go to my correct folder. So here I'm going to change folders. It's on my desktop, and I have Web 105, and I'm going to choose to add it. Now, in this folder, I have my initial folder, I'll update that later, which has my three images, all well-named, no spaces, no capital letters. If I wanted to use multiple words, I'd use a hyphen or underscore between them, and a hyphen is actually preferred for search engine optimization. So what I want to do now is create a new HTML file. And this software has Emmet built in, which is gives you shortcuts. But first I want to save. I'm going to save it as, that's in the initial folder, it should be index.html. To use all the short codes and code hitting, hinting, you always want to you always want to make sure it's saved with the .html file. And then we can use Emmet, which is built in, and you see it's an Emmet abbreviation, so we can type exclamation point and hit tab. And that gives us the basic parts that we need for our website. So the title will be just my first name. And when testing these, what I like to do, I'm going to save first, Control S or Command S if you're on Mac, or you can go to File, Save, is I'm going to go out to that folder and I'm not seeing the index folder there. So let's make sure that this let's try this again. New file index.html. Okay, there we go. So I'm not sure where this one is. Oh, this one's in documents. So I'll just grab all this. I will close this folder. And this gives me the index file in initial, which is where I want to be. I'll paste it. 
I'll save it. And then I'll come out here, and this gives me index.html. I'm going to open with, and I usually test in Firefox or Chrome. So I'm going to open in Firefox, and I'll alternate between those. And so this shows me my name up here in the tab. I haven't put anything into the page yet. The different parts of the web page. The doc type says that we're using the current version of HTML. We have our language, which is equal to English, and then we have two main sections. There's a head section, which is information about our page. And we have our title in there, which is what appears up in the tab. And then we have the body section, which will be what appears on the page. And so I'm going to put in a simple H1 tag. This is a heading, so I'm going to do H1 and tab. That fills in both parts, my opening and my closing tag. And I'm going to type in Mary. And then I'm going to add an image of me. So I'm going to type in IMG and tab. Again, that gives me all the code that I need to insert an image. And I think I can just pull it in here. Nope, that opened it. Let's just try, there we go. I'm just going to start typing, and that should appear. Alt, Mary holding a rubber duck. And that will be what appears if people have Tim images turned off or for some reason the image isn't in the right place. Now, the image should be in the same folder for this to work. And then I could write a paragraph about myself holding this duck. Here I am holding a duck that represents a good friend who couldn't be with us today. Now, this has to appear between the two paragraph tags. And I hit Enter, but that won't show up on the web page. So I'm going to do Control S to save. And I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to hit Refresh. Oh, and that's way, 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 way too big, which is normal. Typically, we're going to modify this with CSS, but since you don't know that yet, we're going to add here a width equals 400, and I'm going to save, Control S, and I'm going to refresh, and that makes it 400 pixels wide. So here I am, here's my name, I'm holding a duck. So now I want to add another couple headings with a paragraph about each picture. So the heading one, you typically only use once, but we're going to have multiple heading twos. So here I'm going to add an H2 with the duck, and I'm just going to type in H2 and tab, and I'm going to say duck, duck, goose. And that'll be my heading two. And now I'm going to add another heading two. So we don't go H1, H2, H3. These are different levels of importance. So each image and paragraph are going to have an H2 tag. So I'm going to have H2. And let's go ahead and put the image in so I know what I'm writing about. So IMG tab. And then I'm going to add karate and type three generations of karate students. And we'll type in here Shotokan Karate. That's the type I study. And we'll put in a quick paragraph about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more set of these. And again, at any point you want to test it, just save. And I probably do want to change the width on this one as well. I know it's going to be too big. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the other one. I'm going to do width equals 500. And I don't put in the height because I don't want it to skew. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to refresh. And here I am with my oldest son and my mom studying Shotokan Karate. And let's put in the last one. 
So here for the images, I'm going to do H2, my dog, Nessie. And then I'll put in the image of Nessie. So IMG in tab, and the source is Nessie, and the alt is going to be Nessie. A black Bouvier de Flanders. And I probably should go ahead and capitalize. Now these alt tags can be used by search engines to help find your images and your and uh, your pages. So you want to be descriptive. And then I'm going to add a paragraph here. Nessie is a Bouvier de Flanders. I have had Bouviers for most of my life. Okay, so you should go a little further into detail than this. This is just a sample to show you how to do the assignment, and then we're going to do one link. So a link is an href, but we can just do, um, it's an a tag a href, and when we're going to put in a link, I like to go out to where I'm getting the link from, and I just copy the address. So I'm going to link to, here's the address, so hypertext reference, HTTP, McHenry.edu, and this is what appears on the screen. Now I'm going to show you that this doesn't do exactly what you're going to expect it to do, so we're going to have to add one other tag around it. Oh, and I forgot to make it smaller. So this one we're going to do with a width equals 50, and you notice spacing here doesn't really matter. And then we're going to save and refresh. And that's okay. Now I was going to put a paragraph, a tag around this, but since I have a paragraph before it, it does appear on its own line. And that should take us to the MCC website. So this is a basic example of what you're going to do for your first page. It should have a little more information, put a couple of sentences for each one. I just didn't think you guys wanted to watch me type. But that's how to create your first page. The most important thing when uploading it is to make sure that you upload the page and all of images into that same initial folder.